Welcome to Joy Mount Presbyterian Church. Our church gathering team has been busy working hard, ensuring that our church is able to be open for worship. It will be a very different experience for everyone, but we're looking forward to be able to gather again once more to worship. The following video is all about the protocols involved. The church gathering team has met regularly over the summer period to uh, make plans for reopening church. In all that we do, we have been driven by people's protection before people's preference. We have carried out risk assessments throughout the church building, erected signage, and pews have been identified which will allow social distancing during the service. I would just like to reiterate, reiterate the information given to you all by your elders. By now they will have contacted you asking if you intend to return to church. The number the church can accommodate is 70 and if we have that number we will be ready to go ahead. If the number is over 70 then you may be contacted and asked to attend on a different date. Some people may have said that they do not wish to attend church just yet. When you are ready to attend again, please contact the office by phone or by email and I will put you onto the list for attendance purposes. This is for our contact tracing. You just need to let us know the once that you wish to attend church and your name will then stay on our list of attendees. I want to begin uh, telling you about the general protocols, but before I do that, can I say to you that the protocols have been agreed by Kirk Session, uh, and every congregation, every Kirk Session will have to agree its own protocol, so not every ch Presbyterian church will have the same protocols, but these are the protocols that will be applied throughout Joymount and all our organisations. The general protocols are the two metre rule applies throughout church premises, the driveway, footpath, steps, the porch and here into the church. There will be posters at various places reminding you of this two metre rule. Then the four metre rule applies to the minister or the person that's leading worship. So the person that's leading the worship, usually the minister or the assistant minister, will conduct worship from the pulpit uh, and he will not be moving out of the pulpit. He also will not be coming to the door as there's no handshaking allowed. There must be a two metre distance kept between you and the next person as you come into church and as you leave the church. There will be people on the door to help and guide you uh, to enable you to do just that. It's recommended by the Public Health Agency that those over 70 years of age and also those with underlying health conditions, including those who are pregnant, should remain at home as much as possible. The risk is more severe if they contract COVID-19. However, if you are over 70 or if you have a, a health risk and you wish to come to church, no one will prevent you from coming. But the recommendation is that you should isolate at home as much as possible. The church and its halls will not be in use within a 72 hour period from the last meeting, program or service held. Now we will endeavour to accommodate funerals uh, in church as far as is reasonably possible and of course we will endeavour uh, to hold wedding services as well. Those that are getting married know to contact me well in advance of their wedding so that details can be given to them. Protocols may change as circumstances change, things are very fluid so please do bear with us. But these general protocols will apply throughout the time this pandemic uh, has a hold on society. You're asked not to come to church if you're displaying any symptoms of COVID-19. And if 
you discover that you have contracted COVID-19 and have been uh, in our church premises, whether it's a church on Sunday or as part of an organisation that may meet in the future in the halls, you must let the church office know as soon as possible. When you come to church, can we ask you to bring your own mask? That would be very helpful for us. Masks do not need to be worn downstairs in church. However, you are advised to wear them uh, if you possibly can. But if you're sitting upstairs, they must be worn. They're mandatory for sitting upstairs in the gallery. If you forget to bring your mask or if a visitor comes, there will be masks provided in church. However, the masks are only for visitors and for emergency use. You're asked to bring your own mask with you to church each Sunday. Can I also mention that the taxi service has been suspended until further notice. The toilets in the porch area will be closed throughout. The toilet that's available in church is the one behind me, the disabled toilet. Sanitizer is provided as you leave and you're asked to use the uh, sanitation wipes to clean the toilet after use. If you're coming up from the public car park, please do maintain the two metre distance between you and other members of the congregation. If you drive into church, you will see people in high-vis jackets and they will be able to guide you to the church. Again, we must maintain the two metre distance. When you come to the steps of the church, you will see signs on the floor, markings two metres apart, and you will be asked to keep two metres apart until you enter the church building. When you come to the church door, someone will greet you and put sanitizer on your hand then Hillary will be beside the desk and she may ask you your name so that we can keep account of who comes to church for tracing purposes afterwards you will go into the vestibule of the church and either go to the left or the right aisle someone will be at the door to guide you into church you should make your way into church as quickly as possible. There will be other people wanting to come in behind you. Please do find a seat and sit in the pew. After leaving the vestibule, please make your way into church. Don't stop and talk to greeters at the door. There will be other people that will be following behind you. It's important that you make your way as quickly and as carefully as possible into church and find a pew. Some pews will be open. Other pews will have a chair blocking the entrance. Those pews with a chair are closed and must not be used. There are 24 pews available downstairs and 14 upstairs. Up to four in a household can sit in one pew. It's best that you sit from the middle out. If you are fit and able, you may be asked by one of the greeters uh, to make your way upstairs to allow someone who can't climb the stairs uh, a seat downstairs. As I said, face coverings are advised in church. However, they are mandatory in the gallery area. The hymn books and Bibles have been withdrawn until further notice. The words of the hymns will appear on screen and the Bible readings shall appear on the screens as well. However, if you would prefer to bring your own hymn book or your own Bible with you, please do so and then, of course, take them home with you again. Singing, something we are used to and it's so much part of our worship, something that we like to give God his praise as we join our voices together. Now, the guidelines produced by our Presbyterian Church in Ireland allow soft singing. 
The decision, however, has been taken not to sing anywhere in the Joy Mount premises. This decision wasn't taken lightly. We know that singing is very much part of how we give worship and praise to Almighty God. However, because of the danger of extending the range of infected droplets that singing causes, we have taken the decision not to allow singing for the foreseeable future. We took advice on this and consulted widely. Our Presbyterian Church in Ireland in its guidelines has noted some scientific research suggesting that deeper breathing associated with singing can project water droplets and thus coronavirus far beyond the two metre required for social distancing. And the UK government has given advice for people in the performing arts. They have produced guidance for people who work in performing arts, including arts organisations, venue operators and participants. They have advised that people shouldn't sing. It's too much of a risk. And as Edwin pointed out earlier, the whole protocol procedure has been people's protection before people's preference. The organ shall not be in use until the pandemic crisis is over. It has been measured out and there is not a four metre distance between the pulpit and organ. Therefore, the piano, or in most instances, pre-recorded music will be used instead. The minister shall enter the church via the minister's room and remain in the pulpit throughout. If a member wishes to speak to the minister after the service, they are advised to wait in their pew and wait for instruction from him after the service. Refreshments will not be available until further notice. The kitchen will remain closed both upstairs and down. Ventilation. It's important to have good airflow through the building. Therefore, our doors and windows will be open to provide adequate ventilation. During the colder weather in autumn and indeed winter, members are advised to bring warm coats and in very cold weather, blankets too. When you leave the church, instruction will be given how to leave safely. Members are asked to remain seated in their pew until they're asked to move out. And again, the two metre rule must be observed as you exit the church as well. The offering will be left on plates as you enter the church. There will be plates on the vestibule table. Please place your offering as you enter or indeed as you leave. Please take home with you any papers you bring into church, sweetie or otherwise. The church will go through the normal cleaning process. We have decided not to use our buildings for 72 hours after we last meet to ensure that the COVID-19 virus in the church is eliminated. These are the, the protocols that we have established. There is fluidity in this whole process and they will be subject to change and we will notify you when that change comes about. Please do bear with us. And as I said to you before, not every church will observe the same protocols. They'll observe them generally, but not everyone will be the same. However, Joy Mount Kirk Session have decided that this particular course of action is the safest course of action for those members of our congregation who are aged or vulnerable. And we all as a family together want to work 
so that this virus can be defeated. The onus is on us to protect each other, to protect our family and to protect ourselves. Can I also say that our services online via Facebook and YouTube will continue throughout and also the telephone service will remain throughout as well. Thank you for listening. Stay well, stay safe and may you know God's peace and his blessing.